Hello, welcome once again to Morgate Andrology and in today's video I want to talk about how to increase your penis girth. You know at Morgate uh, the most common uh, procedure that we perform is, uh, is penis enlargement surgery and that is to increase the length and thickness of the penis. But of all procedures um, the absolute most common is increasing the girth of the penis. Men want their penis to be thicker more than anything else. Now, in the United Kingdom, there are basically two ways which uh, urologists can uh, make your penis thicker. And I want to talk about those today. Both of these methods will increase the thickness of your penis, both in the flaccid and the erect state. Um, and the first one I want to talk about is a fat transfer. This still really is the gold standard way to increase your penis girth. And most guys tend to go for a fat transfer because it's the one that lasts. Um, so basically, how this works is the uh, you'll be put to sleep. It's a general anaesthetic and the procedure takes about one hour. That's all. And the urologist uh, performs a small uh, liposuction on your stomach through usually two little puncture wounds either side of your abdomen quite low down. And he aspirates more or less about 200 mils of fat. And now when this fat has been removed, um, he's going to put it through a, a purification system that takes blood and oils and debris from the fat. Um, and when that purification system is done, the fat is then injected around the shaft of the penis. Now, when this uh, fat is put in, uh, it's injected in. If you imagine a clock face, it's injected from seven o'clock round to five o'clock, but not five o'clock to seven o'clock, because underneath the penis is where the main water pipe is. Now, after a fat transfer, you can ex expect gains of at least one inch in the flaccid and erect state. In truth, uh, most patients get a bit more, but typically at least an inch in terms of, uh, in terms of girth gains. And as I say, that, those girth gains are, are visible uh, when the penis is flaccid and when the penis is erect. After the purification <coughs> system has been completed, you'll, you'll end up with about 70 mils of fat into the penis, which gives a, a considerable gain. Now, <clears throat> initially, you will get some fat absorb. This is perfectly normal after a fat transfer. And typically, about 30% of the fat will absorb after the surgery. Uh, but the remainder, providing you don't lose a significant amount of weight, uh, will will remain and I think that's the main reason why most guys tend to go for a fat transfer. Now the other option which has become quite popular in, in recent years uh, is to thicken the penis with hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid exists in our bodies in very small quantities in natural form and we have a man-made form of it which most of the time is being injected into wrinkles in the face and also it's used to plump up, you know, if you've got depressions in the cheeks, to plump up the cheeks. And it's this particular one that we use to thicken the penis. And actually, Morgate Andrology were the first company to bring uh, um, dermal fillers uh, to thicken the penis to the UK uh, about uh, five, six years ago now. Now, the advantage of the dermal fillers is that uh, you don't have to have a general anaesthetic. Uh, normally, urologists will use what's called a penile block, uh, which is a local anaesthetic that completely numbs the, uh, the penis for the treatment. Some other clinics just use topical anaesthetic cream uh, to numb it, but if you can get a penile block, I suggest that's a little bit better, a bit more comfortable. Um, now, the volume of these fillers really is not an exact science, but on your first treatment, you're sort of putting the foundations in because you don't have any, uh, any filler in there at all. Nothing is in there. So the first treatment is always 
the most expensive because you have to start with nothing. And typically between 10 and 20 milliliters of filler will be injected into the penis the first time. And this will give you an instant thickening of the penis flaccid and erect, just like the fat transfer. However, the downside of dermal fillers uh, are that you um, have to keep having it repeated. The longest lasting one at the time of making this video, the longest lasting dermal filler is two years. So every two years or so, you'll need to pop back and you'll need to have more filler. Typically about half the amount that you had in the first place, because even after, you, um, after you've had uh, two years gone by, you will still have some of that filler present in your penis and it will just need topping up, hence the term top-up treatments. You'll hear that from your doctor, top-up treatments. So over the medium to long term, Dermal fillers are far more expensive than a fat transfer. So if you're cost conscious, that's something to bear in mind is that you will have a very long term commitment with dermal fillers to keep your new size penis. Whereas with a fat transfer, uh, once it's done, uh, that should be it. Of course, with a fat transfer, you could have another one. We have some patients who come back and have the fat topped up simply because they want even greater girth gains than they did on the first treatment, but the first surgery, should I say. But for most patients, usually one fat transfer is enough. So there you are. So you've got a fat transfer, which, uh, okay, is a minor surgical procedure, but the results last. And on the other hand, you've got a choice of dermal fillers, which um, are very easy to get done, but need repeating. One last point I would mention on dermal fillers is that um, the UK is now flooded with very cheap uh, dermal fillers, some of them unregulated. So uh, just be very careful. If you're going to choose dermal fillers, please make sure that you choose one with a, a solid track record um, for use in the penis, of which there are, are very few. And lastly, the takeaway message is uh, always choose a urologist for uh, penis enlargement surgery or penis enlargement treatments. Make sure that you're getting treated by an appropriately trained and qualified professional. So that's all from me today. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. You can find a lot more about uh, penis enlargement generally if you go to uh, our website, which is www morgateandrology.co.uk and uh, if you have a good look around our YouTube channel we've made around 500 videos or more all about penis enlargement. Okay thanks for watching I'll see you back here next time at Morgate Andrology until then bye for now.